And we're going to start talking about Mystic Veil, vale, which is a big one. We did an interview when it was right before it came out at our PhD event. You can find that with uh, one of the guys from AEG. But we finally got our chance to really finally got play to it. try it out for real uh, with four players. It's a deck building game, but instead of adding cards to your deck, you are adding cards to existing cards by sleeving them inside mm -hmm. of it. Um, See through cards, pretty much you're, you're upgrading each card so they're stronger the next time you play them. The idea being you're going to be able to play more, do more effects each time you play a hand. So instead of your deck growing or shrinking, it's more like you're getting more value from each card. So it's a super... I think it's a super unique and innovative uh, mechanic. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's really cool. Certainly the first time you see it, it makes you go, whoa, I've never seen that before in a game. That's really interesting. Uh, so then the question is, does that, is it just a gimmick or does it actually lead to interesting gameplay? What do you think? Well, coming from someone who plays a lot of deck building games, mm -hmm. it definitely is interesting because the way you play is almost more like a push your luck kind of thing. Right, that's the other aspect of it. And it almost feels, and one of the things that's really great, it also has that legacy feeling without being in a legacy. Like, because you're upgrading, so it's like, I've now made this, like, this used to be okay, but now I've got a rhino on it. And, mm -hmm. like, and right. even then, like, you're looking at cards and be like, oh, if I can add this card to the rhino and then this, it'll take away the bad thing. And, that, like, it's a whole different kind of planning. So I do think, well, it's, I guess, technically, it falls into a word of gimmick, it's not bad. Like it's really is fun to play. It's a like, good gimmick. I yeah. think I don't think all I don't think all gimmicks are bad. I, yeah. I think gimmicks are good. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a one shot pony. Like I want to play. We want to play it again. For sure. And it was actually interesting because when we were playing, uh, I remember halfway through the game, we're like, all right, well, we're pretty sure that first place is either gonna be Will or uh, me, our the friend Garrett, guy. friend Garrett, yeah. and then the next would be you and Neil. It actually turned out you and Garrett were the top two. It was weird because. I guess because we're just not used to playing, but I felt like I was doing terribly, <laughs> and then it turned because really what it was on your on your turn, uh, you flip number of cards from your deck, and like you said, it's push your luck. If you get too many red symbols, you lose your whole turn. And you did get a couple of those. And I was at most I was getting like three or four mana a turn, and I really felt like I wasn't doing a lot with my deck, whereas it seemed like you guys were playing a whole bunch of cards and comboing more. So, uh, but it turned out I just had enough of these point cards that get you points at the end of the game that it didn't... It, I mean, I still didn't win, but it, it was a lot closer than I expected to yeah. be. Uh, so yeah, it is interesting. I guess we just kind of need to wrap Play our heads more, yeah. around yeah, exactly what it means to be doing well in this game. And the expansion did just come out. Right, right. Um, and so I haven't had a chance to look at that. And we do know, I'm very excited now, because remember, this is actually apparently part of another game they actually got from the designer. And this is sort of like to be like, uh, teach this the mechanic. The intro <laughs> to yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> Which is it's sort, it's sort of like if there was a, uh, I don't know, like like uh, Dominion introducing deck building and then you go play Mage Knight or something yeah, like that. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what that turns out to be. Yeah, that should be very interesting. But definitely, uh, really do enjoy it. I mean, love see-through cards and stuff. It's always great to see. Yeah, it's a fun game. and I mean, it's a little... Yeah, and I will say this: either you're either gonna love this or hate this. Mm -hmm. The cards tend to have a little protective film on them, <laughs> right? That while you shuffle, they start disappearing, taking off while you shuffle it. They're meant to come off. It's just for the process. So then, while you're playing, you may be like, "All right, I'm gonna just peel this off." <laughs> yeah, that is one. Of, I think the weirdest thing about it is just for those first few games, you it, shuffling is kind of awkward, and it is also a little strange because when the piles are face down, because you can kind of see what's coming up. Not that I think that's I think that's interesting because you could almost use that as part of your strategy, but it's it is a little weird. They could, but you could just probably they if you really wanted to. want to cover cards. Or yeah, something. but I don't think it's ne really that necessary. But uh, yeah, fun uh, light deck building game. It's you know it's not going to. It's not going to change the world, but if you like deck building games, it does put a well, good twist on it. Well, it, it's, it's hopefully building up to change the world in that, whatever that final game is. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs>